So we're doing Brian's paper. So Brian picked up that, uh, you know, uh, we didn't uh, finish the 2017 paper and then we had to come back and then, you know, finish it. So, which is good. If you see any mistakes or uh, you have uh, any requests or you, you want us to finish a paper that we didn't finish, so you can just, uh, you know, put it in the comment section. We actually do read the comments, okay? So thanks so much, Brian. Uh, it's given that the universal set this uh, symbol here is uh, is a class of 46 pupils, okay? So B is a set of pupils who study biology. C is a set of uh, pupils who study uh, chemistry. Uh, 23 pupils stud study biology. Um, 20, 32 pupils study chemistry. Uh, X pupils study um, biology and chemistry. Five pupils study neither biology nor chemistry this paper is really difficult okay so you're given this much and then you're asked to complete the venn diagram by uh filling out, out the, the filling filling in the number of pupils in each uh, section okay so i'm going to just uh see and then come back so i've seen and it's like this okay so the venn diagram is like is like this so you should write your your you should square your, your star very well okay so i didn't square my star very well but then circles i can draw so i can draw a circle here so good and then i can draw a circle here okay so i actually have to shift this so that there's some intersection so I actually have to shift this so that there's some intersection. Okay, yeah, that's it. And just correcting for this. Okay, so this one is A and this one is B. Write, write neatly, okay, draw neatly. So you have uh, A and B, B, okay. So it's actually B and C, sorry. So B for biology and C for chemistry. Okay, so B and C here. Uh, you have 23 pupils who study biology. X, let's start with uh, the intersection. So X pupils study both biology and chemistry. So this one would be X here. 23 pupils study biology. So biology would be 23 pupils. So this one you'd be writing 23 minus X. Uh, the reason I'm writing 23 minus X is that they are X pupils are included already. Okay, so you have to subtract them. You don't need them in this. Uh, in other words, when you add all these elements here, you actually get the 23 that uh, uh, the students doing uh, biology do, okay? So 23 minus X plus X, you simply get 23, okay? So this one is 32, so um, it'll be 32 um, minus, minus X again, same as this one, okay? So you're removing uh, students who study both. Then five students study neither biology nor chemistry, so I'm having this, okay? So this one was uh, pretty simple. It was simpler than, than I thought. Uh, and that's essentially it. And you're asked to find uh, X, the number of pupils who study both biology and chemistry. Okay, so you're, you're told that the universal set is 46. So you can use that. And uh, say equal to 46, which is equal to, you can just simply add everything there. Okay, so minus X plus X plus 32, then minus X, then plus 5 here. So you get uh, 46 equal to this one and this one, they obviously cancel. And then you're looking at uh, 55 on this one, then plus five here, then you're looking at 60, okay? So this one, 55, then plus five, then you're looking at 60, 60. Uh, and uh, this one and this one cancel, so you have minus X here. So you can actually put this one to the side. So you have 60 minus 46. What I did was I transposed this one to go to uh, the other side of the cosine and then this one to come to the side, okay? So they change signs. This one becomes positive, this one becomes negative. And 60 minus 46, what do you get? You actually get 14, okay? So 14 students. So this one is good, okay? So if I'm, I'm getting positive numbers, then it's good because there's no way I can get negative numbers for what? For for a number of pupils, okay. So this one was good. And let's see, I think we still have time. We could uh, do one more question. So this one, it says, a bag contains six green buttons and um, 
three white buttons which are identical except for for color okay so two buttons are picked at, uh, at random from the bag without uh, replacement okay so you you're doing it without replacement and they actually have give you a guide here so this one is guide so they are using g for green and then they're using w w for white okay so i'm going to recreate the same diagram here uh, since we have the information here, okay, so it would be like like this, and we'll be having uh, G for green, and then green again, and then white. Remember, it's without replacement, and you'll be having white here, and then you're having green here, and then you'll be having white again, okay. So here are uh, you told that this green six, so this one is six over nine. In the first pick okay so this one would be three over nine in the same first pick so the one one way to actually reason this out is that this ones they should add to one uh for for, for each uh section so they should add to one so six over nine plus three over nine you actually get nine over nine which equals to which equals to one okay so this one now we actually have one less so after picking a green one we actually have five left and also the number of uh uh buttons would actually be one less as well so it'd be five over eight if you want you can reason from the the white buttons to say oh yeah i have three buttons white buttons so obviously they're still there all together since we picked uh, a green one first so it would be three over eight another way to do it is you just recognize that this is five over eight plus this one uh, in this section so it should equal to go to one okay so that's how you do it and then this one uh after after picking a white one so we still have all the all the green colors intact so here it should be uh, six over over eight the total number so this one would be equal to uh, two over two over two over eight since we picked a white one before okay so this is how you uh, uh, complete the the um, uh, tree diagram and then you're asked to find the probability that uh, of picking at least uh, one white button so you should uh, um, log so this one is GG, so green green. So this one is white, which is good. This one is um, white green, which is good. This one is white white. Okay, so we're looking at this, this, and this. Okay, so the probability of uh, picking at least uh, white buttons would be the sum of all those. Okay, so it would be required probability would be equal to you. Uh, you can say probability of GW plus probability of WG plus probability of WW like this. Okay, so equal to uh, GW. So GW uh, six over nine multiplied by three over eight. Then here be equal to um, three over nine multiplied by six over eight. And here be equal to three over nine multiply by 2 over 8 this paper stuff so here 3 into 3 1 into 9 then you get 3 okay 2 into uh, 6 then you get what 2 into 6 then you then you get 3 then 2 into uh, this you get 4 okay so she's good so here 3 into 6 you get 2 3 into then you get 3 3 into 3 then you get 1 B you get 1 okay so uh here uh three into three then you get one into this then you get three one into this then you get four okay so now i'm collecting my stuff so it would be equal to this one is three three over three so obviously it'd be it'd be one here so it'd be one over four here and then here it'd be uh two over two over eight so i can actually just uh, straight up cancel this and then I'll get one over four here, and then here I'll get one over one over twelve. Okay, so one over twelve here. So I'm adding the stuff. So one over four, the way that I'd like to do it, it at this point is just functions. So you can do it uh, however you want it. You want to do it, but then the way that I want to do it is I have twelve here, so I can make twelve the common denominator just by multiplying uh, everything by 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 three. Okay, so. Here it should be 3 over over 12. I'm saying 3 by, by 1, 3 by 4. So plus 3 over 12 again, plus 1 over 12. So 3 over 12 plus 3 over 12, you get 6 over 12, plus 1 over 12, then you get 7 over 12. So here it would be 7 over 12 like this. So this one is would be the, the required probability, okay?
so that's just about it remember at least one button means one white button means uh, all these possibilities where you have at least a w okay so that's just about it uh, for these two interesting questions hard paper tough paper one of the toughest that we have had to uh, wake out okay so i wish you well i practice well and wish you well in your exams make sure you like share and subscribe you brought out